Hi friends, I'm Parwes and this is our sixth video in Python Selenium. So in this video we're going to talk about uh, mouse-based action chains in Selenium. So there are around eight different mouse actions that can be performed using the action chain class uh, that we will learn some of them. So the first one is move by offset. So move uh, by offset. So now the move by offset method is used to move the mouse from its current position to another point on the web page. Now developers can specify the x distance and also the y distance uh, the mouse has to be moved. Now let's create the example and in here I'm going to just uh, from Selenium I want to import web driver and from selenium dot webdriver dot common dot action chains uh, we want to import action chains so the first thing is that you need to just uh, we want to use the chrome browser and after that you need to just open driver dot git and uh, we are going to use our selectable file from the previous video so you can just open the gqreui.com and from there you can just choose selectable and selectable and display as a grid and you can view the source code and you can copy this code from here and we have created a new html file in here and you need to paste it in this section now you need to just bring a change that you need to add a locator so i have already added name so one two three four five now after this uh, now we want to get that file so we can just say uh, C and it is uh, a selectable dot HTML so after this now we want to just find uh, now if you see in here uh, we want to find this uh, third element so in the list and we can just uh, say so for example 3 uh, driver dot find element by name if you see we have a name locator in here and the locator is 3 now if you see the uh, position or the location of uh, the uh, mouse or that web element so we can just use 3 dot location and, all, and also you can print the size so we can just say 3 dot size so it's the width and height and uh, now we can just print this so print and coordinates we can add L uh, also you can print the size Okay, now if I run this, uh, let me just run this. So you can see that this is our uh, file. And uh, if you see in here, this is the coordinates of x and y position and also this is the height and width uh, now we want to move our cursor and we want to bring uh, we want to click on this 10 element so by this reason we are going to just move this uh, by x and y position now and here first we need to just create actions and we can say action chains add your driver in here after that you can use move by offset so you can give the x offset and also the y offset 
so we want to use 200 and also 200 and we want to click uh, dot perform so now our cursor will move 200 by 200 uh, from the uh, third element and after that it will click uh, on that position so now let's just run this let me just close these two files from here so let me just add a time dot sleep in here so and uh, and here I can just say time let me just import time in here time dot sleep and five seconds so now it will first open our the selectable dot html now it will wait for five seconds and it, now you can see that we have a move offset of 200 by 200 so now this was a move by offset and also there's another uh, method uh, method in the action change that's called click so uh, as we have already seen that how you can use click in here but let's create another example uh, in this section so we want to just copy these files and uh, these uh, imports so we're going to import from selenium import web driver and this is uh, import action chains and this is our time okay we want to just okay now we want to just find the locators so driver dot find element by name one so this is the two and this is the three so let me change these to two and this is three okay now we are going to create action chains so action and you can add driver in here now we want to perform our actions so let me just make it actions actions dot click I want to click on one on the first element so actions dot click this is the second and actions dot click and this is the third or the tree and then you need to just perform the actions so now we want to uh, so first let me just add a time dot sleep in here so time dot sleep and I want it should be so let me just add it at the in here after opening the file we want to just add five seconds a time dot sleep so now we want to run this it will first open the selectable dot html and after that it will click on the first element second element and also third element so after opening this it will wait for five seconds and then it will perform the actions of clicking on the uh, first second and also third element so now it will wait for five seconds now you can see that one two three all right guys now we're going to talk about another method of action change that's called click and hold so click and hold so the click and hold method is another method of the actions class that left clicks on an element and holds it without releasing the left button of the mouse now this method will be useful when executing operations such as uh, uh, drag and drop so now let's just uh, create our example from selenium we want to import web driver and also from selenium dot web driver 
dot common dot action chains we are going to import action chains so now we need to create the uh, our driver so a driver dot chrome and we need to just get our file or uh, this time we are going to use uh, the sortable so if you click on the sortable so this is gqeui.com and we want to use uh, so this is display as a grid so you can see that you can change the position uh, like this and we want to do this functionality using selenium so the first thing is that you need to just view the source code uh, uh, copy the source code you can just uh, copy all of them and after that create a HTML file so you can see I have already created and I have added the sortable so now let me just show you the file so just you need to bring change in the name so in here we have added as uh, the locators of name one two three four five and if you see by default uh, there is no name locator and you can see and here uh, I have added these locators because we want to interact with these uh, items okay now after this now we want to just copy the location so it's on drive C and the file name is sortable.html okay now we want to first find the element and we want to just uh, uh, find element by name so we want to find the first element so let me show you you will want to find this first element and uh, so let me just make it like this again and we want to change this one uh, or we want to bring this one in the fourth place like this like this so now after the finding the one we want to just find the fourth element and we can just say driver dot find element by name and the name is four now after this we need to create our actions in here so actions and we can create our action chains and we need to add driver in here also we can now say uh, click and hold we are going to use click and hold so we want to click on the first item and we want to hold that after that we want to release that item on the fourth uh, position or on, um, on the fourth item and uh, then we can just say actions dot perform so this is uh, the code and we can just add a time dot sleep in here so so import time and we can just say time dot sleep five seconds and let me just run this Now it will first open our sortable.html after that now you can see that the position has changed now we have two three four one and one is in here so also you can use this click and hold with uh, for the drag and drop now let me just show you that example I want to create a new Python file and let me just hit drag and uh, drop or we just close this okay now uh, we can just copy some of the codes from here and we can just uh, copy these two codes 
okay now we want to change this this time we are we are going to use the uh, our this uh, demo qa.com website and from here uh, you can just click on the interactions and from here we want to choose droppable so you can see you can drag this and you can drop it in here and you can see dropped we want to do this using the selenium so let me copy this and paste it in here so now we want to just find uh, the locator now if you see let me just bring this in here and find inspect this so you can see that we have idea of draggable in here so we need to just uh, driver dot find element by id and it is draggable and we have dropped so driver driver dot find element by id and let's find the dropping area id So you can see that the ID is droppable. Now we want to create our action chains. So action chains, add the driver in here. After that, we want to just say click and hold our this dragged area. We want to click on that and hold on that. And after that, we want to release that on the dropped section and now we can just perform this so now at the first step it will uh, open our this uh, uh, demo, demo qa.com droppable so now you can see uh, now it's uh, dragged in here so uh, all right guys now let's just talk about drag and drop method in action uh, class so for right now we have saw that how you can use uh, click and hold for dragging and uh, dropping but there is a method that we can use uh, that's called uh, drag and drop so we're going to use that in here uh, let me just create a new Python file and I'm going to just call it drag and drop to so first we need to import our these uh, codes so we want from selenium web driver and we want the action chains also we will need the time or let me just remove this time we don't need in here uh, also we want to use uh, our this example so you can see that this is our uh, droppable ID and this is our draggable uh, this is the drag and this is the drop so we have already find the IDs so we can just copy these two and paste it in here uh, so now after uh, this we want to create our action chain so actions and action chains we can add our driver in here uh, now we can use a drag and drop so you can see we have drag and drop now in here the first thing is that you need to specify the source so the source is uh, you, uh, so let me change this to source and change this to target so now the first uh, parameter that you need to add that source so this is the source and after that you need to add the target so this is the uh, target and now we can easily perform so action dot perform now we are going to just uh, run this It will first open our website and after opening that it will use the drag and drop method and you can see so you can see that it is dropped in here 
So like this you can work with the action change, uh, chains in uh, Python Selenium. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and also share the video.